Hi, this is Becky Grumwick. Welcome to the Watercolor Classroom. Today I'm going to paint just a little bit and then show you how to get rid of that sharp line that happens. You can see it a little bit along here. Whenever paint, watercolor paint dries, it goes to the edges and the edges become this sharp line which makes it end up looking a little bit like a coloring book. Um, especially if they get very sharp. And as we go over it and over it, which we all do at times, it tends to get sharper. So first I'll just paint another spot that we can work from, and, uh, and then we'll go on from there. I'm using quinacridone rose and magenta for this, quinacridone magenta. We're going to go into this little petal right here because I don't want to spend a ton of time on the petal. I want to spend a lot of time showing you how to fix it when it gets too watery. So I'm just going to fill in that space without the lip of the flower. I'm working quickly enough so that all of the colors run together. And it does go around here, even though that's a lot darker, so I'll put it in so that we don't end up with a funny edge. Okay, now we're just going to let that dry. It probably, I have this at a little bit of a slant, so it'll probably drift downwards. And meanwhile, I'll work on this sharp edge a little bit. Now some paints, including some pinks, are staining, and then it's a little bit harder to get rid of the sharp edges. So what I did for my sharp edges. I, I bought an acrylic brush uh, long ago, used it for crafts for many years, and then I just let it be my scrub brush. It's not real, real stiff. It's not going to tear down your paper unless you work on it for a long time. You can buy scrub brushes if you really need to. This one is like, is very hard. That one would tear down your paper pretty quickly. So we're going to get that wet, and I'm dunking it like this. I don't know what you can see in there. And then I'm drying it off on my sponge and I'm squeezing it down so that it's very dry. And then I just run along that edge. Now, if you, if you uh, work on your edges before they dry, it's a little bit of an easier process, but that isn't always possible. And sometimes they dry more later and you get more of an edge. So this is, this edge is, quite sharp, especially for a very soft pink flower. This one is quite soft looking and I, I like that. I want it to be soft looking. So this one um, has some staining color, which the quinacridones often are. They're just so beautiful. But it has gotten a little bit less sharp, as you can see. And um, we'll get it to work on this a little bit too. This one wasn't as sharp to start with. And I often do every petal on a flower, sharpen, soften every edge. And even this from here to here, uh, in the photo, look at the difference, how much less sharp it is. And since your eye goes to the greatest point of contrast, you don't always want that sharp of an edge. Now this, the green will probably run a little bit into the pink, and that's better than having too sharp of an edge. I think I need a little more water, dry it off again, and then I, I check it, because if you get too much water, then it runs all over and it, it really makes a mess. Okay, so that's a little bit softer there. And since it's at the bottom of the picture, and uh, I, I think it's soft enough that it's not gonna get this contract. So now I've gotten, <clears throat> excuse me, I've gotten uh, some green going over to there, so I'm just gonna soften that edge too so that you don't see an edge. Okay, now back to this. This is dry now. It didn't make as sharp of an edge as I thought, but I still would want it to be softer. And now I'm gonna clean my brush a little bit better because I had gotten some green on it and you don't want to be spreading color. That, you know, I want this to stay pink. It's, you know, eventually going to be a darker pink than this, but this is for the sake of teaching you how to soften edges. This comes in really handy with things like mountain ranges that are in, way in the distance. 
and they you want them to almost blend into the sky but not quite and yet they form this hard line as the watercolor dries because uh, t the tendency is to have distant things be a little bit wetter as you apply the paint and so this is to help with that problem too and that these little bumps in here that is because of this paper um, I drew this on the wrong side of the paper. There's not enough sizing, but when it dries, all those bumps will go away. This part over here also looked bumpy. So it looks like I made it worse, but it, I didn't. Thank you for watching. Press like if you like this. Bye.